In this example, we're asked to use Siva's theorem to prove that the medians of a triangle intersect in a common point. So I'm going to start by sketching a triangle. I'm going to make this triangle a fairly nice one. Um, you can make any, this is true for any triangle though, so you can make this triangle however you want. And I'm going to label these vertices A, B, C in this direction. And at this point, uh, the median, remember, the medians of a triangle are the the uh, segments, the line segments that connect the midpoints of each side. So let's call this one, uh, let's call this one E. So this is the, the idea here is that this is the midpoint, so it divides us evenly, right? So E, and then let's call this one F. By the way, I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not constructing this, but I'm just eyeballing it. So E, F, and G. So there's the idea. And then uh, we can connect these points to their opposite midpoints. These are the medians now. And hopefully this goes through. If not, we're going to use what's called a big point theorem because I didn't measure anything. So the idea here is that these should all go through this common point, this common point D, if I had, if I had chosen the points correctly, right? So it's a little bit off, but that's okay. So here's the picture that we want to, we want to prove that these all intersect in this common point D. So that, that's to be proved, right? I'm not going to write this proof as a table. I'm just going to work through the argument. So we see here that we have these equal side lengths, right? So AE, remember side lengths, we don't draw the bar over it, right? But the measure of side of this segment AE is equal to EB. And by the way, I'm going to go around counterclockwise. Um, we haven't talked about this, but in terms of, of positive versus negative, if you reverse the order, so EB is equal to negative BE. Um, so once you switch the order, you get a negative sign. That's the, that's the convention in geometry. So I'm going to go in the same direction around this entire um, around this entire triangle. And then what do we have? Well, the next one we have BF is equal to FC. Right. So th these two are equal because of the, med the, the median property, the midpoint property. And then we have CG is equal to GA. All right, so once we now get to Siva's theorem, so Siva's theorem says that we should take the ratios of these portions of the side length and then multiply them all together, right? So we have AE divided by EB times BF divided by FC times CG divided by GA. All right, and this we need to now compute, right? But look at what we have. So AE and EB, they're equal. So this cancels out, leaves us with 1. Same thing on the next one. BF equal to FC. That's a 1, right? Same thing on the last one. CG equal to GA. So that ratio is equal to 1. And this product just becomes 1 times 1 times 1. Therefore, the product of the ratios of these sub-side lengths, right, is equal to 1. And then Siva's theorem tells us if this product is 1, if the product of these ratios is 1, then they, the line segments that connect the opposite vertex to that point, those lines must be, uh, they must intersect in a single point, right? So now, by Siva's theorem, these line segments, which happen to be the medians, right, because of the way that they were construction constructed, so by Siva's theorem, the lines AF, uh, BG, and CE uh, must intersect in a common point. And that common point in my picture is D. Right? So there we go. And so there's the argument. We're going to call that a proof, and that proves that the medians of a triangle, the medians of a triangle, intersect in a common point. Now, uh, I'm sure you guys have thought through this, but it, that requires then um, that we believe Siva's theorem, right? So it turns out that Siva's theorem is true, but Siva's theorem is doing all the work here. We just did a nice little calculation to get that the product of the ratios is 1. Siva's theorem did the rest of the work. Okay, so there's, there's an application of Siva's theorem.